Good kitten internet. So in theory, I've patched everything again. I thought it was patched before, but maybe not. And I've edited the item list where the Achilles sword is equipable by Birdman. Honestly, it probably should have been anyway. I know it's just for plot reasons, but whatever. Oops, I didn't actually hit equip, did I? Yeah, yes, I did. Okay. Uh huh. Makes me wonder if I should sell the steel sword because I can't use it for anything else. I don't have any other swords people in the party. And I'm not going to have any other swords people in the party. My next character is after two bosses. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and get rid of that now. Okay, something else I want to do. I want to see, and I am going to save before I do this, because I'm absolutely not going to actually do this. Wait, no, I can't right now. Right, forgot. Don't have the promotion item for them. Uh, which ones do I have again? Um, That was the Brass Gunner one. I'm not promoting anybody right now, but um, let's see. Deals... Warrior Pride, well, I don't have any warriors, so that's completely useless. And Silver Tank, I could theoretically promote somebody to be a Brass Gunner, but then I'd be promoting at level 20. And level 20 is not the level I want to promote at. I would prefer to promote at level 24 to level 30. So, the way promotion works in Shining Force 2, um, you need to be a minimum of level 20 to promote. Uh, your maximum level unpromoted is level 40. You actually no longer gain experience once you reach level 40. So... My glasses are smudged because Isin kept rubbing against my face. Um, so, you can promote anytime between level 20 to level 40. When you promote, your level is reset to 1. And in-game, it considers your level level 21 for purposes of gaining experience. You'll notice that I've stopped gaining as much experience once my characters hit level 20. That's because the enemies aren't correct for it. So, I can't really level up faster if I promote. Whereas, if I promote it, say, level 30, I'll get all the way up to 30, then go back to level 21 from game logic. I keep all of my stats, and the game will start giving me experiences on level 21 instead of level 30. This is very advantageous to certain classes. Um, Kiwi, or, sorry, Peter in this game. Uh, the Tortoise class is actually the biggest advantage, because as a Tortoise, you gain huge amounts of defense, as the tortoise's promotion, you don't. So the longer you keep a tortoise as a tortoise, the higher defense they have throughout the game. Whereas if you promote them immediately, their defense starts dropping like a rock and there's no real reason to use them. I may not end up using uh, Peter in this game just because uh, he's not very good and I don't know who else I'm going to have. But that's a worry for another time. The other thing to note when it comes to... Is it really? He's rubbing up against the monitor. Um, the other thing to note when it comes to promotion is with spellcasters. So with one class that is... In, uh, so actually there's multiple classes of exceptions and I think about it. So take our mages. Our mages like Gerhold. So regular promotion from mage is to wiz or wizard. Um... If you were to promote, okay, yep, yeah, I can tell. You can see how the hit points are now on two lines. That's because I applied the patch to allow you to see three-digit hit points. There's a good reason for that patch, trust me. Um, anyway, so magic. You gain magic at certain specific levels. It doesn't matter what class you are. Like, so for instance... Gerhalt might gain level 3 blaze at level 23. I don't know what it is. I'm just making a number. So, that could mean either 1, level 3 promoted wizard, or 2, level 23 mage. As a result, you can get a mage up to, say, all the way up to level 40, and then they reset down to level 1. They don't lose spells, but they stop gaining them until you go back to where you were level-wise. So, mages are less great promoting late. Um, 
if you want a mage to promote to a wizard, or if you and uh, you probably want to promote them early on in normal Shining Force 2. The problem being that this monster here is the exception to every rule. So the reason why is that he has a great way of leveling himself up. He will absolutely hit level 40 before I have other people promoted. I have no doubt in my mind. He's already five levels higher than the rest of the party. He's probably going to be 10 or so by the time I start promoting people. Yeah, he's going to be a complete and utter ridiculous monster, and he's going to be promoted to a wizard. So there's no reason for me to really promote him quickly. I might as well let him gain even more MP, and he is absolutely going to have three-digit MP. No way. Uh, yeah. So the other wizard... Uh... That's Gerhalt. Gerhalt, I am probably going to be promoting to a sorcerer. Sorcerers, or Sor, um, reset all of their magic. So their magic is completely different from a wizard. They don't have any of their existing spells. Uh, they'll start with Dao rather than Blaze, which is an earth elemental spell. I think it's actually the same element as Blast, oddly enough. Um... And summon spells work very differently from regular spells. Uh, I'll have to explain it when I start showing it. But the point is that all of his spells reset. Which means there's no weird leveling thing that happens. I'm going to lose my spells anyway. Which means it's to my advantage to promote to Sorcerer as soon as possible as well. Um, I don't get the item that allows me to promote to Sorcerer until later on in the game. So, not going to be doing it now. And who knows, maybe I'll find a third mage and might want to promote them. Um, letting people know in advance now, I am not going to hold myself to the specific number of you can only promote one wizard, uh, one mage to a sorcerer. Because, for instance, archer. Archers, there is one brass tank, or bronze tank, or whatever it's called. There's one tank, silver tank. There we go. That's what it's called. There's one silver tank in the entire game, which means that you can only special promote one of your archers. I already have three. The normal game has two. So I'm not going to be too picky on that. I don't know how I'm going to promote people yet. Anyway, I wanted to mention that I still need to update my spreadsheet. So give me a moment and I'll be right back. All right, there we go. So these are our current stats. Um, so I thought I would mention why I was bolding things. I realized I didn't. That's what I believe their abnormal stat is, so to speak. So like for instance, Bowie, I can't tell what his abnormal stat is because I have nothing to compare with. His, he's the only bird man. He's the only one that's going to have these stats. So it does, it's kind of irrelevant as to what his highest stat is. Whereas Thieves, for an example, It's painfully obvious Luke's high stat is HP, and I'm pretty sure Sarah's high stat is attack. Just keep in mind, they are two levels off of each other, so this is not that abnormal. This is not that abnormal. Nice again. It could be agility instead of attack. It's probably one of those two. Anyway. Wanted to show off the archers as well. Because I haven't looked recently. So we've got three at level 19 and one at level 20. Um, I'm not entirely sure about this one anymore. But I don't know what other stat it would be. Otherwise, it's all of it, all of Chester's stats are terrible. Um, you can tell that May has more hit points than normal. Slade definitely has more defense than normal. That, that's not even close. I have no idea what the hell's going on with Kazin, though. He just seems to have the worst of all of the stats, so he might be the one that I drop later on. Anyway, let's go ahead and unfilter. Um, oh yeah, I wanted to show these. So these are our mages and priests and so on. And you'll notice something really, really easily. Our healer has way better hit points and attack than our mage, even though she's two levels lower. I have a hunch 
that our priest is actually hit point based. And the reason why I say that is that I seem to remember that priests and mages have roughly the same amount of hit points. They don't have the same amount of MP and uh, priests are, will always have a higher attack. So I think that this is the case. Don't know. Only way I'd be certain is if I had another priest. And I don't know if I'm even going to get one. Okay. Piece of crap, we have to go with the wake-up call battle now. So, there's a reason why I call this the wake-up call battle. It's because it is substantially hard. This is actually the battle I expected my Nuzlocke to end at, for reference. Because I have only pulled this and Chessboard, which is at the midway point of the game. Or the two battles in the game that I've only ever beaten without somebody dying once. And that was my run-through that I had nobody die the entire game. That's it. That's the best that I've done. And that was recent, too. And there was a bunch of reloading to make that happen. Anyway, it's in here. So I'm going to go ahead and save state here because this is going to be a very weird experience. I don't even know if I can pull this off properly. Huh? The raft stopped! Did the water stop flowing? What is happening? Wow! What's that? Bowie, look there! Kraken! A monster! It appeared from the river! It must be the monster they've mentioned in Polka. Shout! So, this is our first boss battle. This is legitimately a boss. Uh, however, the music doesn't change. This is our boss. It's the Kraken Head. If we kill the Kraken Head, we win. Notice its attack is 62, though. For a frame of reference, uh, let's find somebody with a really high attack bonus. Uh, Bowie. My attack is 46, and this is definitely the highest attack member of my party. So we've got 47. The Kraken legs have a higher attack than Bowie. So we also have Kraken arms, which have an even higher attack. So the difference between the legs and the arms are, if I remember right, the arms are melee range and the legs are ranged. Because, you know, we needed ranged attacks on us. And you also notice, it's basically impossible to avoid getting hit. So, the way that I've done this battle before, without anybody dying, is to send off my flyers. Which, at this point of the game, normally I would have two flyers. I have one. That's not viable. So, I'm hoping that boosting and so on is going to help. Also, I think this is the only time that you get to see that background image. See, notice that there's better spacing for an extra digit of numbers now. We're going to need it. Like I said, there's no way Jaha is going to... Oh, Blaze 3! Woohoo! There's no way Jaha is not going to have over 99 MP. And I'm pretty sure Bowie is going to have more than... I may or may not have more than 100 hit points. Luke is going to have more than 100 hit points. Alright. So first off, we have to deal with... You know what? I'm not even going to constantly heal. Trying to get somebody to come closer. Also, notice that that head has gone twice this round. That's a telltale sign of a boss in Shining Force terms, because bosses go more than once per round. So, um... Yeah, I don't think it shows up, does it? So, yeah. So, what it is is that that agility being listed as 25 is incorrect. That, that boss's agility is actually 25 plus 128. It uses that extra bit in agility to say, hey, look, this person should be going more than once per round. 
Fun fact, you can get more than 128 agility yourself on any of your characters, especially with boost. What happens is that that character starts going twice per round, but at a very, very low initiative. So you're, it's kind of like doing a buffer overflow, except the game actually already accounts for it. You'd have to go over 256 in order to, or over 255 in order to really reset your init, which is also possible, man. Note, I've had a character with boost that does that. Anyway, we're going to Power Ring. Uh, let's go ahead. Hopefully it doesn't break. That's why I'm save stating before using Power Ring. A crack is fine. That just means I won't use it until I repair it. But it breaking, it's possible it can actually break immediately, and that's just dumb. So let's try out Blaze 3, eh? They're resistant to fire. Good to know. You resistant to blast as well? Yep. They're resistant to just magic, aren't they? Try hit for 18. That hurts. So I guess the legs are the melee ones and the arms might be the ranged ones. Not sure. All right, are you weak against freeze? Science time. 15, okay, you take normal damage against freeze, good. Unfortunately, Jaha's the only one with freeze and he's taking getting one XP for everything he does anyway. How close are... Yeah, they're close enough where I need to get them away. Of course. That's most of the way up, at least. Bloop. So, traditionally... If you're trying to level up, as, or if you're trying to promote as fast as possible, you promote after this battle. I don't recommend promoting after this battle. It's a terrible idea. But I wanted to mention that that is a thing. We're going to be sitting still a whole bunch. I'm basically going to try to be very patient this battle. Is there anybody even moving? No. No, they're okay. There's one person moving. Two. Okay. Not the greatest situation. Hmm. Yep. Doing it. Again, I am not really paying... I'm not going to be too harsh on myself for um, using the wrong characters, so to speak. Although I'm not going to end up using my mages for this one. Um, priest, you can heal. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well, too late. I was trying to find the one that was still slightly injured. Ovel. 
Luke, you can probably take a hit, so go ahead and put yourself in danger. Mm, you're probably dead. No, nope, you're not dead yet. Hmm. You leveled up, though. That's good. Ugh, that was a terrible level. And I can't reach. <sighs> this was not a good idea. And my attack up didn't do anything because I used it on the wrong character. Yep. Ow! <coughs> can I kill you with Peter? That would be awesome. Yes, I can! Ooh, dealt actually a decent amount of damage, too. And I did not get full XP, either. And this is going to hurt a lot. Am I at one or am I dead? Of course it crits on the second one. Let's try this again. Wait, why did I go back to here? I was expecting to go back to um, Riddle. It's supposed to put me back in the last town that I visited, but that was definitely not the last town. Hmm. Interesting. to attract some attention via boosting. I'm going to fast forward a little bit through this because there's not much that I'm going to be doing for a bit. So yeah, note to self, corners are deadly. I forgot to repair the ring. Oh well, not much I can do at this point. Okay, where is everybody at now? Okay, you're there. As I just said, corners are deadly. Uh, let's soften you up with a freeze. Okay. Gain one XP. I really don't want Gerhalt and... Uh, I'm... Don't know if I'm going to be keeping Gerhalt at all. I don't know if I can wait that long. Chop. I'm getting 16 XP, which means that I'm slightly overleveled. May, you can sit there. Luke, go back there. That's fine. Because then you can stay there. Okay. So, yep, you're starting to come down the pipe. I'm going to move the mage somewhere. There, I guess. It's not a great spot. There isn't really a great spot. Chop the leg in half. Yes, yes, soon. Gerhalt, you're not going to be all that helpful this battle. Kiwi, you're also on standby. Sarah, yeah, you can st out. Yes, soon. Stab. I know you're trying to be cute and helpful. 
You are cute. And you're also helpful, but not right now, okay? Thump. Death did. Did you level? No. May is one of my few level 19 characters left. It's May and Kazin and Chester. I know the Kraken head is ranged, but I want to try to get all of the limbs away first. Missing. What are you doing, cat? So my best bet for this battle is to try to get them into basically this area here. Either there, there, or there. So that's what I'm trying to do. Although, honestly, here, here, and really anywhere along here is perfectly fine too. Alright, let's fast forward again. Oh, okay, the arms are the ranged ones. Okay, good to know. Freeze, sucker! Ah, Isin is being helpful again. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put you in the danger zone, Bowie, because you can take hits, unlike the rest of these goobers. Halt's really just useless this battle. He's dealing like seven. Uh. Hold on a moment. Isun, really? Here's his tail for reference to give you an idea as to where he's standing. Slade, sniping the Kraken leg. Right, you need to heal. Boom. Bing. There we go, that's better. Okay. May, move back up there. Luke, you're in for stabbings. Stab. Ooh, that wasn't much damage. I may have made a terrible mistake. Hopefully I can kill it. Because I'm kind of screwed if I can't. So if I remember right, the way this battle works is that the head will activate once you kill enough of the arms and legs. All right, good job, Kazin. There's another arm. Gotta worry about the arms. That's fine. Bowie was bait. 
Oh, Bowie is taking a lot more damage than I thought he would. This was a mistake. Oh, good. Thank you for actually dodging for once. Um, yeah. I don't really have anything to do with Peter right now. Yep, you're attacking Luke. Which Luke can take a hit. A hit. All right. You need to not be there anymore, Bowie. It's risky, but I think this might be a better bet, is to eliminate one leg. That way I'm only going to get hit by one thing at a time and I'm sitting next to the healer. Freeze you. Again, not caring that I'm using level 26 character on this. Blaze you. I mean, there's a good chance that arm's going to one-shot anything that it hits. You are 23 down. Yep, it's worth spending a heal three on that. I should have moved now that I thought about it. I should have moved Kiwi first. Although I don't know if I... Oh, yep, head's active. Stabbing's time. Stab. Second stab. Second stab! <coughs> <coughs> also, I keep slipping over in the wrong direction. Sorry about that. I can't reach. You're just going to stay put there. Okay. I think I'm okay by stabbing again. Pretty sure I can take another hit, and there's not anything else over on that side. The leg is going to go after Gerhalt, like I thought. Hopefully Gerhalt has enough defense to live. Ah, yeah. <coughs> Die. Level 20. Nice. Just heal. Actually... Healing Luke makes more sense, as sad as it is for me to say. Yeah, you can't even reach the leg, so. Heal Luke because Luke is on the front line and Kazin is not. There's only one arm left, and Kazin can't get hit by that arm right now. Yep, and that one's going to go after Luke. That's what I thought. That's a good thing I did that. I would have been at one. This isn't going to do much damage, is it? Oh, six. It's not zero. Gerhalt, you need to not be there. <laughs> Go slice an arm. Nice. Ooh, they actually give good XP. Good. I am not going to grind this battle. No. And yes, I would prefer having an archer there instead of Jaha, but beggars, choosers, etc. Okay. Can mostly heal Geralt. I think that makes the most sense. Oh, I hate blowing this much healing, and I just realized I still had Excel open. I'm sorry. You're not looking at the pretty pictures. Sarah can't stab anything right now. <coughs> I'll move her out of the way. Arrow. You have one hit point. Okay. Stabbings. Time for stabbings. Many stabbings have been had. Good. Okay, 
get marginally closer, I guess. Arrowed? You have four hit points. I can kill him with May. All right, I think there's one leg and the head left. I'm doing way better on this than I normally do, for reference. Head. Yep, head is moving closer. And the one leg that is probably not going to be in this battle. All right, here's the problem with the head. The head will one-shot Peter. I think it's normal. It's magic attack does 14. So I'm going to make sure Peter is kind of off to the side because I'm still trying to minimize death at least. I'll have Bowie fly interior. Jaha, it's time for you to start boosting again. There we go. Ah, the only person that I can heal is way up there. Yep. Now I'm almost out of healing. But, hey, look. I healed the maximum I can heal. Luke, you do have self-healing. Good. Luke, heal thyself, please. You're attacking the other thief. Aqua Breath. Ah, it's 12 damage. Okay. So this is what the Kraken does. I actually get to go, though, which is interesting. Not expecting to be able to go. Yeah, you can't heal yourself. And did you notice that the Kraken had its own battle attack music instead of the regular one? Definitely a sign of boss. Sadly, can't hit. Yep. You're gonna attack Geralt. <laughs> On the plus side, you hit a mage with a magic attack? You fool. Now face the wrath of Peter. Sick. He's been doing more than one. You are going to land on his head in an attack. Uh, of course you dodged. That's fine. Oh, I wonder if this would actually work. I doubt it will. I'm going to save state just to try it out. Can I dispel you? Yeah. Dispel hardly ever. It's a 60% chance of success normally. And it doesn't work on the things that you want to dispel, basically. Eat a blaze. For six. Ugh. Yep. No helping there. It's down to six hit points. Because then leveled up to level 20. That's nice. Uh, how many XP do you have? 31. Okay. I want to make sure I note down... Um, Whatchamacallit, uh, XP, or everybody's level 20 stuff. Although I think level 30 is actually the level that it's targeted at. And it did it. No deaths. I mean, there was a death the first time. But that's the first boss battle of the game, and that's not an easy boss. I'm just leveled up higher than normal. But more importantly, we finally reach a town. A new town for the first time in like six years. Pardon me for a moment. It's Mithril!
We're saving. All right. Let us talk to things. Hassan's port town! But we've had no trading recently. Monument of the Landing at Parmesia. So, by the way, we're in southern Parmesia. I didn't mention this before. I should have. What's up, boy? We guarantee all items to be in good condition. What do you got? So, I can buy the steel sword that I had just sold. <coughs> steel lance, which I still don't have any knights. I still don't have any warriors. I do get power sticks. I can buy a thieves dagger. You botched your face in the wrong spot. I can't buy a dagger, though. Are they're both using knives? No, one's using a dagger, one's using a knife. So I wonder if dagger is not something you can buy, then? Or knife. No, knife's there. Eh, I must have missed it. But more importantly, we can finally upgrade arrows. Oh, it's been so long. I mean, we have four archers. And power sticks. Oh, wow. I must have missed buying something somewhere. Because I'm really far off of the correct items. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. Oh. Alright, let's go ahead and sell some things. Yep, sell the mithril because I can't do anything with it right now. Sell your knife. Yeah, let's sell the knife. Oh, I bet it was over in Beto. Or I could have upgraded. Oh well. Not the end of the world. All right. And let's buy the one thing that I was missing, which is the power stick to Gerhalt. Any new deals? Why is there only one mithril there? I'm gonna make sure of something really fast. Please tell me you still have more than one mithril. Okay, good. I don't mind losing a little bit of money to double check that. Finally, let's actually remember to repair the stupid ring. All right. Unfortunately, this is pretty much it for items for the entire rest of the game, for regular items. It kind of stinks. I don't like that. Definitely think Shining Force 2 could have used more items. That's good enough. 
because I am going to oops, item give. Gerhalt is going to give an item to Luke. Oh, that's why I think Gerhalt has more agility. He actually has an agility equipment on, on him. And agility equipment, good job, Brain. Yeah, his actual agility is 27. Not 32. Okay, now that means... That means Gerhalt just sucks. No, um, Gerhalt's hit points. That was the other stat that he could have been. Meow. How on earth did you come to Hassan? By raft? Are oh, you kidding the Kraken? Yep, this is the port town of Hassan. It's not in water anymore. Our ancestors came here from Rune by way of the sea. They should have avoided such an inconvenient place like this. So Rune is the campaign setting for Shining Force 1. And there is a guiding game that links Shining Force 1 and 2 together. And it takes place in South Paramecia. Alright, I found one piece of mithril that I'll end up selling. Yeah, these docks have seen better days, but there's also no water here, so there's not really a reason for them to repair it. Anything over here? No. It's the bar! It's empty. I did not want to look twice, dang it. A running pimento. Running pimentos are one of the best items in the game. They increase your base movement speed. Uh, the main thing that you have to remember with a running pimento, though, is that when you promote, your base movement speed gets reset. So do not use a running pimento before you promote. Go to the west. Really want to go ask Dr. Road. Oh no, vases that are dark inside. Yes, soon, please stop. Oh, hey, look, this person looks different. It was empty. Yes, I'm Road. I'm really busy right now. Time is dear to me. Please don't bother me. <laughs> Smells something old. That sword must be really old. <laughs> Oh my, it's the Achilles Sword! You're an adventurer, right? Don't you need a vehicle, huh? <coughs> you can get the engine caravan with that sword. You wouldn't listen to us just a short time ago. I was busy and... Well, let me join you. I'm the only one who can drive it. You're gonna need the caravan, aren't you? Uh, yeah, actually we do. Although we haven't been told why, but we do. Great! Good lad. <laughs> Bowie decides to take Dr. Rude with him. And yes, his name's in all caps. He will be a character. But he's not playable right now. Now we have four people following us again. Or three people following. Four people in the train. There's nobody here other than cobwebs. Dark face. Who would have thought? Where are you from? Bowie came from Grand's Island. Then we could be related. What do you mean? Our ancestors came to Parmesia to chase after a soldier called Max. Max is the main character of Shining Force 1, for reference. They lost his trail at shore and split into two groups. One group went back to Grand's by way of Devil's Tail. Hmm, what happened to Max? He wasn't found in Parmesia, so maybe they he went to Grand's. I'm not really sure. I think I'll take a nap now. Bye! I I don't understand the I think I'll take a nap now, but once more, this these are things that are referenced in the guiding game, but the guiding game was never released in the US. Dr. Rode, hmm? Are you a magician? No. 
Anyway, I'm going to go sell that mithril. It's the only way to keep things safe for a little while longer. All right, we've got two more battles before we can actually start doing some more interesting things. Uh, there's not, I know it's a, like about 10 minutes early, but all I can do is go to the next battle right now. There's no, <clears throat> there's no other direction for me to go at the moment. And unfortunately it's another desert battle. I hate desert battles so much in this game. Mm. Oops. Well, I guess I'm stopping anyway. That's it for today. Yes, you'd better take the rest now. Come back again. I'll talk to you next time, Internet. Bye.